Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. All right, Reza, my jailbreaking buddy who was over here last night for Subservient Chris. Thank you for your support. Uh, news today broke that uh, a few people who were trying to upgrade uh, their iOS devices today to the latest firmware uh, have essentially bricked their phones. Uh, what happened? Um, so according to the reports, uh, people are downloading 4.33, the latest update to iOS, and there's some sort of glitch with uh, uh, Apple's iTunes servers. So when the iDevice, uh, after it's already installed the firmware, the iDevice will go back to the iTunes server and try to validate the install. And at that point, whatever glitch there is with the server there will return a fail and a bricked iDevice. So even if you haven't jailbroken your device, yeah, I mean, like myself, if I was to update my iPhone today, I would essentially have a brick. That is correct. Wow. Very scary thought, yes. So it's not targeting anybody in particular, just people who had updated in an official capacity through iTunes and everything. Oh, yep. this is a nightmare in the making. Very scary. I'm just you know, frightened at the thought uh, because it's platform independent. It doesn't matter if you're Windows, Linux, uh, Mac. It, all you have to do is go through iTunes and you're, you're, you're instantly out of business. You can't, if you had data on your iPad, your iPhone, you're stuck. So what can they, can they do anything right now? I mean, other than go into the store? Um, so there is one way, uh, if you had a previous jailbreak on your iDevice, uh, either Cydia will have saved uh, a file that's called an SHSH file, uh, or you may have manually saved it yourself if you had been watching Locker Gnome's videos, because we have uh, gone over saving your SHSH several times now. And you don't need a jailbreak to save your SHSH, is that correct? That is absolutely right. Uh, we're very upfront about that to let people know this is an insurance policy. Go yeah. ahead and do this as insurance for this very situation right now. You know, I, honestly, this is the first time that I would really come out and say, you know, I, I think uh, jailbreaking isn't so horrible. It's not for me necessarily, but I, I, I'm interested though. How could someone attain, I mean, assuming they don't have a, an iPhone brick right now, how could they attain an SH, SH without jailbreaking? Uh, so everybody needs to go and Google the firmware umbrella. The firmware umbrella. Okay. That is correct. That is the website where you can download an application called Tiny Umbrella. And uh, that is Windows and Mac. Um, so you go ahead and download that and you don't need to be jailbroken. All you do is uh, connect your iDevice and simply press save SHSH. And it'll go out to Apple's iTunes server and uh, grab that file for you. But the, the caveat is it can only grab the current version of uh, iOS. So if you don't do it while you're on the current version, it can't go back in time and grab your previous SHSA. So how would this have saved people if, if they had done this beforehand? How would this have saved people today, this, this iTunes uh, glitch in, in the update? So let's work with your specific situation, Chris. Uh, you, you don't jailbreak, which is awesome. It's fine. Uh, but if you had used Tiny Umbrella and saved your SHSH for previous versions of iOS, right now, um, you know, you'd be fine because you would fire up Tiny Umbrella and you would launch the TSS server. Uh, when you open the application, there's a button that says launch TSS server. And then um, what you do is you download yourself from the web whatever version of iOS that you have an SHSH for. Uh, once you have the firmware and you have the TSS server running, um, you go ahead and you press, uh, within iTunes, you press, uh, you know, Update. restore. Yeah, yeah, the restore. Possibly holding on to option on the Mac to browse for the local file. Absolutely. When you hit option, it lets you select where you want to grab the firmware from. So you would click on the firmware that you've downloaded and um, your iDevice will begin to uh update the firmware, um, and go out to Apple's uh, servers to wow. validate it. So, so there's a recommendation for everybody. Uh, go and grab uh, your SHSH. So if this happens again, you won't be caught with your pants down, so to speak. Okay, yep. so well, did you have something you were going to show us, Reza? Well, yeah. So now going back to the situation of people who were previously jailbroken. Okay. So if you have jailbroken, uh, the city of servers, uh, before they were banned by Apple, were automatically caching your SHSH every time you were jailbroken. Uh, and the nature of the SHSH file, once that data is in uh, the cache, your iDevice does not need to be connected for it to continually grab the most up-to-date version of the firmware SHSH. So 
you could have several versions of SHSH on the Cydia servers that you didn't even know about if you were jailbroken. So that's good news because what you're going to want to do if, if you didn't deliberately go to Tiny Umbrella and get them is plug in your iDevice and uh, see if Tiny Umbrella can go out to Cydia and grab those for you. Okay, so uh, definitely download Tiny Umbrella, let it go out to Cydia and see if it can grab your um, SHSH that Cydia may have cached. So if you find them and you have a bricked eye device, what you're going to want to do is put it in DFU mode. So um, the way you do that... <laughs> nice wallpaper, dude. <laughs> this, was, uh, this was exhaustion after yeah. I got uh, my iPad. Yeah. And, uh, that's my wife's iPad, too, and I took the picture with me uh, that's funny. From, from my own iPad. That's funny. So. Okay, so what were you going to show us here? So DFU mode, what you do is you put it in a state where it's uh, uh, recognized as being ready to restore. And the way you do that is you hold the uh, sleep-wake button up here with the home button simultaneously, right? And when you press it, uh, you start counting down. So uh, you count to 10, and as soon as you see the, the upper bar go away, you let go. And you continue holding home, and it will kick itself into DFU. Uh, once it's in DFU, then you can plug it into Tiny Umbrella, make sure the TSS server is running, and then attempt to downgrade your firmware the way that we discussed earlier. They should already have the previous firmware downloaded and option click and hit restore. But if they're a person who has you know, legitimately gone through the upgrading process and they're caught with a brick, uh, if they had not previously jailbroken, they're pretty much in, well in Apple's hands at, at this point. Uh, yeah, if wow. they had not, uh, let's let's correct that. If they had not previously saved their SHSH. Okay, true. Because you don't need to jailbreak. It's uh, just a good insurance policy. You know, that's uh, that's something that's uh, going to get me to do that uh, almost right away. Because uh, you know, I can only imagine how many thousands upon thousands of people this has happened to. Uh, Apple support lines are just going to be hellishly long. Yeah, it's a scary thought. You just think about, you know, say you're off somewhere on vacation and you were in a hotel and you decided to upgrade your iOS. You are now instantly with a brick and you can't call anyone. And, you know, God forbid you didn't have a recent backup of your data. Um, it's just a nightmare. I would be petrified of that. Gosh, you know? look who's laughing now. This is going to do so much for the jailbreaking community. It's not even funny. Yeah, or at least uh, for the people who are diligent in making sure they're protected because, yeah, Apple's a great company, but... You know, you well, no, I mean, there, there's no doubt they're great. I mean, I happen to agree. I like the products. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it kind of casts a light of legit, more legitimacy to the idea of, of jailbreaking. And most people would never have even uh, gone that far. But I'm pretty sure after watching this video and hearing this news, now they'll have the solution to uh, keep uh, from, I guess, running into this danger at some point in the future with or without jailbreaking their iPhone or iOS device. Thank you, Reza. Anytime, Chris. Uh, I hope everybody, uh, you know, finds this easy to do. If not, I'm here. I'm here and ready to help the community out. So just let me know. Thank you, everybody. Please comment. Uh, are you R Malieri on uh, YouTube as well? That's right. Great on Twitter, of course. We're Locker Gnome at Chris Perillo, facebookcom slash Chris Perillo. Trying to help people as quickly as we can. And uh, if you have any other questions related to jailbreaking, of course, Ty Moss, Ty's iPhone help. He's he's probably oh, yeah. He's he's the number one source. I, I guess we can probably be number fifty or fifty thousand. I don't know where we rank on that list. Either way, thank you, Reza. You got it, Chris. Thank you. All right. We'll see you later. See you later.